welcome to Social Distancing, episode nine. We're gonna make burrito bowls. Yeah. With chicken. We got chicken, rice, beans and corn. Ooh, I'm out of the frame. Uh, taco seasoning and all the toppings. Yay! Let's get started. Mm. Yes. All right. So we're doing instant or minute rice, which is it's actually technically pre-cooked dehydrated rice. So you just have to rehydrate it. Um, make it floofy. Make it floofy. So in this case, you boil your water. You add your rice to the boiled water. I put butter and salt in the water to make it tasty and delicious. Um, and then you turn the heat off and just cover it, and then it just sort of steeps like like um, a tea until it's all fluffy. So, so I like to do this first because this recipe goes pretty quick. So we'll let that come to temperature. When it does, you can dump it. Yee! Here you go. Alright, so we're going to make chicken burrito bowls tonight, and I have two chicken breasts that are humongous and thick, so I'm going to cut them in half. <laughs> I'm going to cut them in half lengthwise to shorten the cooking time. Um, these ones are still a little bit frozen in the middle, which actually makes it easier to cut them in half. You just put your, ugh, this little thing, you put your hand flat on the board, you take your knife and go into it sideways, you kind of saw back and forth all the way through. So you have essentially this recipe. I season with taco seasoning. I sprinkle both sides. With the taco seasoning. With the taco seasoning. It smells very strongly of taco. Well, it's because you're standing right on top of it. And you don't have to be too liberal because some of it will come off in the pan. Well, you just do a little bit on both sides. Flip it over. Use your tongy tongs. And that's the technical term tongy tongs. Really? That makes me think of tongues, and it makes me think that these look like big tongues. Yep. <laughs> Although people do eat tongue, beef tongue. And we're done. <laughs> so now our water's stuck with us. I'm gonna. So can I put the rice in? Yep. Go ahead. Actually, turn the heat off. Dump your rice. Mommy's preheating her. Dump rice. Yep, careful. Now that that's dumped, you just make sure all the little grains get wet. And put the lid on. And just move it out of the way. And that only takes about five minutes. And Should we put a timer? No, it's okay because we're not going to eat it until our chicken's ready. So just sit there and whatnot. Oh, oh. Um, and our chicken will probably take, I don't know. Three, three minutes aside, so it should come together about all about the same time. And while once we get this in the pan, then we can heat up our black beans and our corn so that everything's sort of ready all together. And then we just chop up our chicken and assemble our bowls with cheese and queso and, and salsa and sour cream and yummy whatever. stuff. Another one. Go. It's shrinking. It does shrink up a little bit, doesn't it? I'm melting. Oh, really that one up. That was cool. I'm melting. Melting in reverse be like. Freezing. <laughs> All right. So now while we'll that cooks, like I said, like three, maybe four minutes aside. Then we'll get our um, corn and black beans out. All right. Black bean rinsing. So beans are pretty um, starchy, I guess. So there's always like some sediment or settling in the. Ziggy. So I like to rinse them 
So it's kind of foamy? Yeah. I rinse them until there's no foam. Yeah, okay. So you have to go out. Alright, you hold that video. I'm gonna flip the chicken now. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna let that go for a few more minutes. I'm not shy. Alright. Especially if you have kind of squishy. Yeah. This is like stiff on this end. And they're squishy like that, that means they're still uncooked um, in that part. Yeah. And I could prove it by cutting it in half, but I like to internal temp it with a thermometer. 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 Mom, mom, mom. Cat and dog. Alright, for chicken, we need it to come to 165 for poultry. It's not there yet. Nope. One thirty-seven. Now we just chop up our chicken. Make sure it's all the way done. Okay, go. Rice on the bottom. Enough. You want more? A little bit more. That's good. Yeah. Corn. Rice. Oh. Corn. Corn. Taco meat. Yeah. Yeah, no duh. Is it taco meat? Yeah. It's, oh! with, ta it's with taco seasoning. Duh. Chicken. What's well, delicious? Well, thank you. It's the best chicken you've ever had. Best chicken you've ever had. Well, that's a very bold statement. I mean, the chicken nugget from McDonald's are pretty good. It's better than those, but it's not yet. Oh, wow. And McDonald's. Shredded cheese. Definitely not sponsored by McDonald's. Definitely not sponsored. There you go. No. Somehow they see this as sponsored by McDonald's. Time for the official taste test. I've got rice, chicken, corn, and cheese because I'm a bit picky. But you can put salsa and queso and whatever you want on it. Beans. Beans. Yeah, beans, I guess. Black beans in there. Get a little bit of everything. Good. Reads mm -hmm. is the best chicken he's ever had. Mm -hmm. Success. Mm -hmm.